guys, it's Elijah and I am back with another video and I have an echo because I just moved out of my apartment. Um, if you did not see that vlog, go check it out. Um, it should be out now. Um, I've been uploading so much lately, but y'all, it was so hectic. Like when I tell you, I just started packing yesterday and I had to be out technically today, but like during the daytime. And like, it's to the point, I was so tired. I was like, I my car is so stuffed, y'all. I can't even see my side mirrors. I can't see out of any of my windows. I can't see out the back. So, if you want to see me move out of this, that video should be coming soon because I think I'm gonna let this video come out first. So this is the second to last video that I'm doing in my apartment um, for now. I'll be back here next month. But yeah, let me stop rambling on and get to this video. Um, if you read by the title, it's Pride Month, okay? And if nobody told you Happy Pride Month, Happy Pride Month from Elijah Jalil. And um, so I went onto my Finsta and I was like, what should I post for Pride Month on my YouTube channel? And if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's right here per use. Um, and they gave me like so many options, but I'm gonna use two of them because I'm like, you know, let me let them in a little more about moi. Cause I'm an open book. I just don't do it unless I'm asked. We are talking about how I lost my virginity and AKA bottom one-on-one technically, you know, kinda, I don't know. But yeah, if you soaking out all this juicy teas about me, you might as well go ahead and subscribe, um, like this video, comment any more video ideas, and yes, let's get it popping. Okay, so my experience was, I don't know what to say, it wasn't horrible, but after the fact it was horrible after I like, I don't know, after I did some thinking about it. So listen to my story take tips and that's all i got for you so i'm gonna start off with i'm not gonna use names um what is the name i'm gonna use i'm gonna use jacob as the freaking name so i'm 21 now i lost my virginity at yes i was 19. So it was really late. And like, once I lost it, no, I was not sad or anything, even though the situation is crazy. But yeah, the person we're gonna say is Jacob. Me and Jacob, we still talk, sadly. So y'all are probably gonna, y'all probably gonna flame me in the comments, but no, like Jacob's fine, Jacob's fine. Okay, so me and Jacob, we were friends since, we were friends. We've been texting and just talking on the phone since I was a senior in high school. I lost my virginity as a sophomore. So just talking, talking, talking. And when I when we was talking in high school, like I had a car and stuff, but I wasn't like bold enough to be going to go meet up with somebody or link up with somebody. That wasn't even on my mind. Like, I don't know. I had such a childish ass mind and I kind of still do, but whatever. And, um, yeah, so that's just a little backstory. That's all y'all get. We was talking, like, it was great. Jacob, I found out Jacob cheated, which is crazy because Jacob lives a whole hour for me in a different state, and you still got caught up. So, I had cut Jacob off for, how long did I come on? It wasn't long. It wasn't long. And he actually didn't get caught up. It was kind of one of those things where I was like, I know you're cheating, but I really didn't know. But then he ended up confessing. So that is that. Okay. So it was one day, like I was at work and he was just like, come see me. I'm like, do you want me to come see you? Yeah, I was happy. Because, like I said, we have been talking for a while, and I was just like, you know, I'm tired of just talking to you. So, 
I'm sorry, y'all. This is the only lotion I got up in my room because, like I said, it's empty. Everything's in my car. I'm leaving right after this. And it's actually 3 in the morning. And I live two hours away. So, bear with me. So, I was, like, happy. Like, I did not know the first thing, like, about Bobby. And I should, but, girl, I don't. I was just like, I'm going to go see my man. I don't give a fuck. Okay? So, I worked the whole day, got off of work, girl, I went home, shaved, took my shower, like, I took the longest shower of my life, ain't still ain't know what the fuck to do, like, <laughs> and Jacob didn't believe I was coming, like, he didn't believe I was coming, but I was like, no, you are to come. And I'm coming, okay? So, um, after that, I was, like, so worried because I was, like, you know, my parents, they have my location. Everybody in my household has my location. And I was just, like, <sighs> how would I explain me being in a different state in the middle of the night? Like, how? But, um, one of my friends had me, we made up this story or whatever that I did not even end up having to use because it worked out. So I drove that hour and y'all, oh my gosh, I was so happy to meet him. But like, it was just, I don't know. It felt different. And I'm like, I'm a really awkward person when it comes to dating like I can text you all day and I can I'm awkward on the phone too it takes a while to even get me to that point I don't want to talk to you on the phone like I'm fine with just texting you when I get time to respond and that's that like so I pulled up to his house y'all and we actually he went to go get something to eat he went to go see his grandma. It was like, dang, you couldn't do all this stuff before I got here. And the whole time, actually, we was texting on, my, on the way there. I don't condone texting and driving, but yeah, we was texting like the whole way. And he was just pretty much like, you're not ready. And I'm like, what? And that is honestly, y'all, that is the worst thing you could tell me because you tell me I'm not ready or you tell me I can't do something Baby, I'm going to show you I can. I wish I would have took his advice, bitch. I do. <laughs> so, y'all, the guys, I mean, the type of guys I mess with, I like me a hood nigga, like, and that's my fucking problem. Like, I like me a hood nigga. And if you know me, you know that. So, girl, I don't know what he thought this was. And I never even questioned it. Like, but when I tell y'all, it was the roughest. I would I would say the roughest sex I've had in my life. But it was my first time. Like, he, I don't know if he didn't believe that it wasn't my first time or what. But, like, that shit was painful. And when I tell you, he went in, like, he dove in, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, <laughs> I felt like, wow, if this is how this feels, I never want to feel it again. Now, I missed so many steps, y'all. I didn't have lube because, like, I don't know. I didn't know. Like, I wasn't woke on my situation. So, that's what I'm telling y'all to be woke on your situation, bitch, because he obviously wasn't either because... He didn't give no fucks. Like, <laughs> but like I said, I took it like a G. But I'm letting y'all know. Spit is not lube. Don't use it. Okay? Use lube. And this is so weird talking to y'all about this and posting this. But like, I'm doing what my friends that told me to do. Okay? And yeah, it's like there's not much that I can post pertaining to this. So, I don't mind. I don't care. Whatever. It happened. It happened. Girl, so after that, even after, like, it being so painful or whatever, 
I was going home. We talked the whole way that I was home. I'm texting my best friend, like, girl, it just happened. I had to be to work 7 a.m. the next morning, drove that hour back home, bitch. Like, I felt like a brand new man, like, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the next day I woke up, went to work. Like, I was telling my sister, girl, like, I got some peen last night. Like, she was like, no, you didn't. And I was like, yes, I did. Oh, and I forgot to mention. So I was telling y'all, like, about how many, oh, how I was trying to hide it from, like, you know, everybody. I didn't want anybody seeing my location or whatnot. But actually, while it was happening, my stepmom was blowing my phone up. Like, <sighs> it was so embarrassing. So, yeah. <laughs> I took like a year and a half break. Like, almost, actually almost two years. Like, I was literally two months from two years. Three months. Four months. Four months from two years. Girl. He was in my city. He was in my city. And... It happened again. But no, this time, y'all, I was fully, I let him know. We had talked about it or whatever, and he checked on me and everything. It, even while it was happening, he was checking on me. But girl, I was like, it's fine. But I didn't know. Like, I was thinking maybe, you know, it's my first time. It's supposed to feel like this, but no, bitch. Like I said, for the third time, get you some motherfucking lube, okay? I know y'all probably wanted to be like more juicy and stuff, but like I said, it's kind of awkward talking about this and... You know, I did it anyway. I'm overcoming boundaries. I'm posting more. I'm opening up. I'm talking more in my vlog. My vlogs are longer. This video is actually short and I've been trying to get my videos to 20 minutes, but if it ain't 20 minutes, I ain't about to make it 20 minutes. So if you are new to this channel again, and if you are this far, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Like I've said that so many times now, like it's little bit here. Comment any content that you want. Like, I don't care. I will do it. I'm doing anything to get to where I need to be. So, yeah. Comment, like, subscribe. And happy Pride Month. This month is our month. Love is love. That's what my mom told me, y'all, actually. My mom's like, love is love. Happy Pride Month. I was like, thank you. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching.